기술과 우리나라의 우수한 농업 기술과 검정 경험을 대동국의 전수 보급함으로써 국제사회에 대한 농업 선진 기술 공유국으로서 한국의 역할을 더욱 확대해 나가기를 기대하겠습니다. We have been here before, uh, helping Korea, and now to have an office where Korea will be helping other countries of the world to overcome their needs of uh, rural development is really a significant issue. Director General Graziano da Silva, it's a pleasure to meet with you. My pleasure. Thank you for joining us today. Um, could you introduce the FAO for those who are um, unfamiliar with it? FAO is the uh, branch uh, for food and agriculture of the UN system, United Nations. FAO deals with the support for the different areas of uh, forestry, fishery, crops, livestock, mm. water, mm -hmm. soil, and so on. Uh -huh. So it's perhaps one of the organization of the system that has a broad mandate uh, dealing with all those things. Mm, I see. And I've heard that the motto for the FAO is Fiat Panis, and it's also in the logo as well. What does it mean? Fiat Panis uh, means make bread available. Oh, I see. Uh, bake. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, it, and the idea was that uh, after the devastating Second World War, mm -hmm. we would need to increase production and make food available to uh, eradicate hunger. Mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. was the reason that we uh, have this motto, the Fiat Panis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I see. And I understand that you are the first Latin American um, Director General for the FAO in 70 years since the organization was established. And I know that you've achieved a lot during your post. Uh, what was the most memorable achievement? I think that the biggest challenge was that uh, uh, after so many years, all these big organizations uh, needs to be renewed. Mm -hmm. FAO from the very beginning was involved with what we call the Green Revolution mm -hmm. that make f uh, increase food production, especially in Asia countries, oh, India, uh -huh. China, uh -huh. even here in Korea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but now we realize that uh, we have enough food available in the world. So we need uh, to adapt to the new times, mm -hmm. not only producing, 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 mm -hmm. but uh, produce more healthy food, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. make these food mm -hmm. available for the people mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. need it. Mm -hmm. So this has changed a lot the way we are working. Mm -hmm. We are less uh, concerned about improving technology, mm -hmm. despite we are looking for the new application of mm -hmm. IT technology, mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. But we don't need any more to increase uh, the use of pesticides, fertilizers. On the open side, mm -hmm. we are looking for the environment to protect more, to clean our waters, to clean our soils. Mm -hmm. So this is the new approach of the organization nowadays. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, before you were voted as the Director General for the FAO, I heard that you really led the way in supporting those in poverty in your own country. Um, could you tell us about For Me Zero, please? It was a pleasure. Uh, when uh, we were campaigning for uh, the elections in Brazil in, that uh, uh, were in 2002, uh, before that, a few years before, we started to realize that uh, despite Brazil was a big exporter of uh, agriculture products, mm -hmm. about 25 to 30 percent of our population was uh, unnourished mm -hmm. and uh, many of them especially in the northeast region that's a dry region had problems of hunger mm -hmm. 
So uh, we started to put in place local programs to deal with this uh, hunger population. Mm -hmm. And when we took uh, uh, office uh, in the federal government in January 2003, we start, we launched this zero hunger program mm -hmm. globally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was a very successful program. Mm -hmm. uh, in uh, less than 10 years, we eradicate hunger in Brazil. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is the mm -hmm. first example mm -hmm. that we have mm -hmm. ever mm -hmm. uh, that in so short time in a big population, Brazil has 200 million people. Mm -hmm. We have been able to eradicate hunger mm -hmm. in the country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We implemented the programs to uh, facilitate food uh, for the poor. We gave a cash transfer for the poor family to allow them to buy the food they need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we promote the family farm locally mm -hmm. to produce fruits, vegetable, Mm -hmm. more healthy food mm -hmm. that improve the nutrition quality mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of the food. Mm -hmm. So the key for the sustainability of the program would be um, providing food and at the same time um, supporting farms? Exactly. Mm -hmm. you, you need to act in both sides. Mm -hmm. It's not enough only to produce the right. food. Mm -hmm. You need to make the food available. Mm -hmm. That's what we learn. Mm -hmm. People mm -hmm. need to have the power to buy it mm -hmm. and to have them uh, self-producing part of it if needed. Mm -hmm. then, so we supported the family farm in Brazil. Brazil is known by large farmers mm -hmm. producing commodities for the international market. Mm -hmm. We started to promote local food production mm -hmm. uh, and we established local circuits mm -hmm. of local production and food consumption. Mm -hmm. For example, mm -hmm. uh, our schools, mm -hmm. they buy locally the products they use for their canteen. Mm -hmm. So all the meals served mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. school mm -hmm. uh, come from local production. Mm -hmm. Eggs, vegetable, mm -hmm. fruits. Mm -hmm. That improved a lot the quality of the food. Mm -hmm. And we could also see that these local circuits ended to promote local development. So poor communities mm -hmm, mm -hmm. became with cash money mm -hmm. available mm -hmm. to do other things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, this is prosperity. Right. In remote areas sometimes is the only market that you right. have right. is the government, mm -hmm. the local school, mm -hmm. the local providers mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, can uh, use it. Mm -hmm. um, Director General, how did you come to visit Korea this time around? What uh, uh, impressed us more mm -hmm. Uh, was despite the short time, mm -hmm. Korea now became an important donor, important player right. in the international market. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we realized mm -hmm. that Korea can uh, bring to FAO a lot of expertise mm. that is developed here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just met the CAO of uh, KIT that is dealing with the 5G mm -hmm. technology mm -hmm. that will be very important for our future in farming mm -hmm. systems. Mm -hmm. So we decided to open an office mm -hmm. here and we have been uh, dealing with that in a negotiation mm -hmm. in the last five years mm -hmm. to set this office oh, here I see. Uh -huh. that you can see we are, this is the first activity by uh -huh. the way <laughs> in our office. Uh -huh. We hope that with this office, mm -hmm. we would be able to improve mm. uh, the presence of Korea in the global arena mm -hmm. and become a big player mm -hmm. in FAO also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Specifically, what kind of role will Korean office will play in the future? This is, as the name say, is a liaison and a partnership office. Mm -hmm. So we envisage to work not only in Korea, but also with the neighbor countries in mm, the area. I see. What means uh, Laos, North Korea, and other countries in the region mm -hmm. that need FAO assistance. Mm -hmm. This will be the base where we will be mobilize resource, technological resource, financial resource, to assist countries in the area. Mm -hmm. Korea joined the FAO in 1949, and as you just mentioned, we became the supplier from the receiver. Um, how would you describe the role Korea plays in comparison to other countries? 
I believe that uh, uh, is uh, uh, an important leadership in the region. Uh, as I mentioned, the transfer of technology, particularly in areas like the IT technology, mm -hmm. but also in fisheries and forestry. Mm -hmm. We will have here in 2021 the World Forest Congress mm. uh, for the first time uh, in Korea, mm -hmm. uh, what shows the progress Korea made in replanting trees after war. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is a, a mm -hmm. situation that we need this expertise in other areas of the world, because when there is a war, it usually devastates everything, right. including right. forestry. Right. This expertise is available in Korea, and we would like to use your experts here to provide assistance to other countries in the world. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we can't leave out North Korea when we talk about Korea. And I heard that recently the FAO uh, visited North Korea upon the request from the North Korea for a field research. Um, how serious is the level of food insecurity there? Very serious, very serious. Uh, is one of the worst uh, food crisis that we have in North Korea since the 2008. If you recall, in 2008 we had uh, this spike of prices mm -hmm. due to a global crisis, mm -hmm. food crisis, all around the world. Uh, since that time, uh, North Korea has been showing difficult on the production side. Particularly this uh, last year, 2018, 2019, mm -hmm. there is an overlapping of different things, uh, draw, some floods also in some areas, uh, heavy winter, and also some uh, as consequence of the blockage mm -hmm. of the country, limited uh, fuel available for transportation. So a lot of food that was produced was lost, mm -hmm. particularly potato. Mm -hmm. There was a huge impact on the harvest also, uh, due to the flood and the dry season in different times. So uh, there is about 10 million people suffering mm -hmm. uh, from malnutrition in Korea. Mm -hmm. uh, things will get worse uh, in the coming months. What we came out with this last assessment mm -hmm. was the urgency to increase the food assistance. Mm -hmm. And that's what we are trying to do. Mm -hmm. uh, my partner of WFP, uh, the, uh, Mr. Beasley, that is the executive director that is with me here in Korea, he had a, a meeting with the president mm -hmm. of Korea to agree on this uh, increased food assistance mm -hmm. to Korea in this time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have a, our view that when it comes to food aid, uh, we need to give food. That's, uh, we cannot ask anything. They are hungry people. For us, uh, we are committed to assist hungry people. Mm -hmm. the world. FAO was built after war to assist hungry people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We are going after hungry people where they are. Mm -hmm. We don't deal with the governments, we deal with the people. Mm -hmm. People with hunger will be there. Mm, I see, I see. Um, even though hunger is hunger and politics are politics, I've heard that it's hard for international organizations to provide food support to North Korea when there is sanction against. Um, what do you think there will be some good ways that we can deal with this? You know, uh, the, our experience on uh, those sanctions that are applied is that at the end, they affect food production. The restriction of uh, buying fuel, for example, at the end affects the transportation of the food that is harvested or the capacity of storage Mm. Most of the potatoes we lost there in North Korea was due to the incapacity of uh, storage, mm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, due to the lack of fuel, mm -hmm. lack of transportation. Mm, I see. Mm -hmm. So uh, we uh, don't like this kind of policies of blocking countries to access to food. 
we believe that uh, the using uh, food as a weapon is not proper for the 21 century. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I've heard that one of the reasons that you visited Korea this time is to attend the Global ODA Forum for um, Sustainable Agriculture Development. So our team was also there to take a look at it. So let's go and take a look. On May 13th, Seoul hosted the Global Forum on Official Development Assistance, or ODA. The theme was forming a global partnership for sustainable development in agriculture, and it was a chance to share the achievements of Korea's development cooperation in this area. At this year's forum, 12 international organizations participated, including the FAO, the IFAD, and the WFP. So the ODA forum is focused on inclusive growth and global partnership. And, uh, inclusive uh, growth is the main concern of uh, other countries, some inequality issues and economic growth both together. Today, Director General Graziano da Silva is scheduled to give a keynote speech on nutritional imbalances and sustainable agricultural development. The forum officially kicks off with a grand performance. That's followed by messages of congratulations for holding a successful forum. <laughs> Next, the FAO Director General, Graziano Da Silva, takes the podium. What is raising fast, faster than the others, is different forms of malnutrition. Obesity is the most fast growing of malnutrition forms nowadays. Very soon, if the trends continue like that, we will have more obese people in the world than hunger people. The Global ODA Forum started in 2017 as a way to share the knowledge gained from Korea's agricultural development. Ever since, it's played a key role in maintaining the network between international organizations. We hope this forum will help refine development cooperation in Korea's agricultural industry and also strengthen ties with international organizations. I think that uh, one of the most important things that we can do about uh, hunger and malnutrition uh, to keep people alert on the importance of this. So every time that you have opportunity to release those messages, it is important to do it. Particularly here in Korea, because this country has an amazing history that was first a recipient of uh, food and now it is helping the world with the food production we are doing. So I think this is a great example that Korea can do to the world to convey this message that we need the healthy food. Uh, what were some of the key topics that were discussed during the discussions? Well, uh, this ODA is the third time and my first opportunity here. Mm -hmm. My main message uh, to the public uh, were basically that, okay, we need to increase food production, mm. but we need to look more and more for the quality of the food we are producing. Mm -hmm. Because what is happening nowadays is that hunger mm. is a, pro a problem that we already know how to deal with. But uh, on the other side, we are s have seen that obesity 
is growing faster than faster. Right, right. So people are eating too much mm -hmm. and eat uh, not good food. Mm -hmm. uh, so we need more healthy food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is the idea to promote the healthy diets mm -hmm. based more on fresh foods mm -hmm. than processed food. Mm -hmm. We are eating too little uh, uh, vegetables. Mm -hmm. uh, we are concentrate our food in uh, wheat, rice, potato, <laughs> uh, that's not healthy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I understand that environmental pollution and also climate change have been huge factors to effect on food insecurity. Uh, what do you think we must do first to fight global poverty and also hunger? Well, those are the what we call the sustainable development goals number one and two. Mm -hmm. uh, eradicate poverty, number one and eradicate hunger number two. They are close related. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you look for the SDGs that are 17 mm -hmm. now, this one and two, not by sort, mm -hmm. are the fundamental ones, the mm -hmm. beginning mm -hmm. of all the sustainable development mm -hmm. goals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, that means that we will not be able to make progress in any other one mm -hmm. if we don't make mm -hmm. progress on these first two. I agree. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, mm -hmm we are not doing well. Mm -hmm, Hunger mm -hmm. is increasing, right. poverty is increasing mm -hmm, the mm -hmm, world. Mm -hmm. What we can do mm. uh, to combat uh, poverty and hunger, mm -hmm. uh, we need to have a more inclusive development system. This is all about the way that we deal with economic growth, mm -hmm. share more the results of this growth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In provide more jobs, mm -hmm. better quality of jobs, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. especially for the youth mm -hmm. uh, is important. Mm -hmm. And also, as I said, look for more healthy food, mm -hmm. not only commodities, mm -hmm. but local food production mm -hmm. can help a lot to eradicate hunger, mm -hmm. as I mentioned, the case of Brazil. I see, I see. Uh, one of the biggest goals for the FAO is to provide a better quality of life for the farmers as well. And I know that um, one of the main activities of the FAO is to provide the technology that is requested by the governments. Could you explain more about your activities? We usually provide uh, uh, support for farmers in developing countries and very poor countries provide kits of irrigation, for example, modern irrigation. Uh, you know, uh, we still using the irrigation system of a thousand years ago, mm -hmm. that is just deviate the water from the river and make this mm -hmm. inundation in a uh, piece of land. Mm -hmm. We cannot go on uh, this way. This is mm -hmm. a waste of water. Mm -hmm. Clean water mm -hmm. is one of the most scarce resource nowadays mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. So to preserve water, we are moving to improve uh, irrigation techniques like uh, drip irrigation that is successful used uh, in desert areas including. Uh, we are providing also alternatives for using chemicals in agriculture like uh, integrated pest management using some biological approach also use compost instead of using uh, chemical fertilizers. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. So we are trying to use modern techniques mm -hmm. to uh, make agriculture a more sustainable mm -hmm. uh, practice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is what uh, FAO basically assists the countries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, this is my last question. Um, what is the one thing that you would like to absolutely achieve during your term as a Director General? I wanted to make uh, FAO more effective. Uh, that's a big challenge in a big organization. We have about uh, 12,000 people working for FAO, so uh, it's not easy to mobilize them, mm -hmm. to bring them work together, not only inside FAO, but also with our partners. We have uh, more than uh, 30 or different organizations in the UN system. We need to work together to achieve the sustainable development goals. We have now bold goals, eradicate hunger, mm -hmm. eradicate poverty, are all bold goals. If we don't work together, we will not achieve them. Mm -hmm. So my main 
uh, thing uh, is to work together uh -huh, with uh -huh. partner. Mm -hmm. And Korea is a great partner. Mm -hmm. um, Director General, thank you so much for your time today and we really look forward to your future activities. Thank you.